so uh, you can let it running and on the fly you can for example put one to the do filter fair in the live watch and once you keep it running you should you should hear some difference in the sound which is coming to the headphones so what happens uh, if I use the fair filter, so do filter fair flag I set up, uh, the only thing what happens in the main loop is uh, that this part of the code is executed at line 198, which means I just run these two lines and they are doing the same. I'm filtering uh, by fair filter my left and right signal, okay? and I actually use the left and uh, left and right arrays as a source and destination at the same time. So I overwrite the previous signal by the filtered one. You tell this to the library when you are initializing the filter. So here at uh, the beginning you just need to call once the fur init function where you tell uh, well, where you put a pointer to the handle, then you put the how much coefficients you have, or how many coefficients you have, and then pointer to the coefficients, and then pointer to some state array. So you can uh, try with the fill filter and the IAR filter as well. Uh, actually, the the cutoff frequency shall be the same. So. Uh, you should not see much difference between the fair filter and IR filter. But uh, what you should see as a difference is the CPU load. So, uh, well, if I disable the correlation, for example, I've got 1.8% uh, just for filtering. And if I enable the, the filter, IAR takes 1% for me. Okay, so almost 50% uh, of the fair filter with roughly the same characteristics. So uh, usually the IAR filters are more performant, but uh, you can see here what we do to implement it. Uh, the IAR filter are usually much more sensitive to rounding the numbers. So we have tried to use the Q15 format to implement this filter, but the output was always zero because the IR filter are, tend to have very large and very small coefficients, which are very not nice for the fixed, flow, uh, fixed point algorithms. So in this case, what we do is to convert the left signal to float, then I do the filter, and I convert back. And still uh, with these conversions and the filtering itself, I got less CPU power consumed than uh, with the fixed point. Maybe you can try later somewhere that if you do the IR filter with fixed point, it's very difficult to design a filter which is stable and which uh, works as you would like to. So for the IR, it's much better to use float specifically for audio applications. So again, we are on the limit of the fixed point numbers.